1p. So today is the 1st of January and I was reading an article about something called the 1p challenge. So basically the challenge is every single day you save a penny, 2p, 3p and so on and so forth. And I was trying to have a look because this sounds like a really good idea, especially for some of us that find it really difficult to save money. I have a Santander, I have a Metro, I have Barclays, but none of these are able to facilitate this 1p challenge. The way that most standing orders work is that when you do a standing order, it's that set amount for however it is. So all of the banks would let me set up 1p every single day for the rest of the year, but they don't actually have it where it goes up on a gradual basis. So after doing some research and finding out there's actually only one bank that is able to do this for you and help you, um, and that's Monzo. Now, for those that you don't know what Monzo is, Monzo is like an online bank account, and it's just another way of having sort of like a digital account. It helps you with currency exchange, um, but it also has some really great features to help you try and save, like rounding up figures um, when you spend and that sort of thing. So Monzo actually don't in itself allow you to do this. You have to set it up through another app that works in conjunction with your Monzo. Um, but what I'm going to do on this video, because it's a little bit complicated, I'm just going to show you how to do that and set it up. Right, so the best way to do this and actually set this up is, whether, depending on whether you've got an Android or Apple phone, you would have to use the App Store or the Play Store. Um, but if you're using an Android, I would go onto the Play Store. And the app is called IFTTT. Now what IFTTT allows you to do is it actually syncs all of your... Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's, it's actually a really, really clever app. So depending on how you want to do it, um, it gives you loads of ideas on how you can set things up. It's just to try and help you automate stuff. So when you go on to IFTT, um, download, download the account and then type in Monzo. And it will search for Monzo. And when you click it, it will have loads of different things of what you can do. And as you can see, it says take on the 1p savings challenge. So I've already connected it, but all you have to do is you click on it and you set up this, get, put your details in for the Monzo and accept all the details and you'll be able to set up the 1p challenge like that, which is great because then you don't have to worry about it every single year and then it just sets up automatically. So once it's connected, you if you go on to Monzo, you click on my account. So at the moment I've got 349.99, but as you can see, it's already transferred 1p into my savings deposit, and that will do that every single day, and it's not something that you have to worry about, which is really, really nice. Now that's all set up and it's all on your account, it's really, really straightforward and it will do it automatically for you so you don't have to worry about it. And what's nice about this is at the end of the year, especially if you find a hard saving, especially during Christmas time, if you don't have that extra money to buy your family gifts or you want to take a holiday with friends, You've got an extra, that's about £670 at the end of the year that you're going to be able to use to spend on whatever you like and whatever you choose. I'm going to be doing this challenge with you guys. I think it'd be a really good idea to try and help even the young savers that don't have a lot of money. Most of us can spare a penny every single day, even a bit more than that. And it helps you save for the future. So when times are tough, you always have a backup. So I'm going to be starting this challenge from today. And I will catch up with you in the new year because there's lots more to follow.